Well, this hive has some definite issues. In addition to having a little bit of brood in my honey super, this colony is very strong in the bottom and they had swarm cells in the food super. Um, because of the population in the deep and the placement and the number of swarm cells that I saw, um, it just almost has to be a swarm situation instead of supersedure. Now, when you see swarm cells, the first thing you want to do is go cutting them out. But you should not do that first. The first thing you need to do is find out if your queen's still there. Because sometimes it's hard to tell if a colony has swarmed. Your queen may be already gone, and if you cut out all the swarm cells, you could end up in a mess. So, the first thing I did was choose the swarm cells, I left two, that I liked the best. And I don't want to turn this upside down. I want to kind of keep it like this. But I was very general. careful with this one and set it aside. Now I have my frames back in my food super except for two. I'm going to lower this one with the queen cell carefully down into the box. Don't want to drop it. I put it in the number three position from the left. The only reason I've done that is because that's what I always do. If I have a queen I'm introducing or queen cells, I always use that position and that helps me remember the next time I come to see what's happening. Now I'm going to ease this last frame down in here and put this hive back together. So I did not see my queen. I did see all stages of brood. She could be in there and I didn't find her. Um, but if she isn't in there, I have a swarm cell left. This colony, if it has not swarmed, it may swarm. But you can't control everything. So I'm gonna put it back together. And just because I don't want brood up in a sirewood super, I am gonna use an excluder. Keeper Charlotte, carolinahoneybees.com.